when you see someone that has done better than you and you feel that little, ooh, jealous little bitch coming up out of you bitch slap the bitch back in you and pay a fucking attention pay the fuck attention when you have the abundance mindset you don't get jealous of people you don't go out and start tripping because you don't see this thing as a zero sum game you don't you don't bitch out because you realize there's enough for grant there's enough for this dude there's enough for me there's enough for you there's there's enough for everybody who is truly hustling a ton of stuff for folks who are truly hustling it's just abundant opportunity abundant money abundant whatever you want is out here but if you're sitting at home waiting and they ain't doing nothing with it it works it works there are people paying me thousands of dollars a month consistently because the shit works but when you drop below a certain income level and this is where i'm about to really hurt some people's feelings they look at what i should be giving them based upon the value that they have in the world that predicates their income if that makes sense it's like well since i make forty thousand a year if i give him what i make in a week that should be good no the fuck it's not it's not and that's one of the reasons that i'm moving away from that crowd and if you make under 100 g's a year get the free courses hey glendon hey glendon where's the training man where's am hustle where's pm hustle where are the free information money making webinars they're gone got so busy i don't really have time for that anymore like literally um this morning was crazy but in a good way but live training is coming back not next week but the week after and there's gonna be more and i'm gonna actually just drop it for you one of the biggest issues that people have is how to start a business from scratch and it's not something that you can answer in with it's just not a one answer or a two answer or a three answer or a four answer thing but what i'm going to do and i'll get to that in a minute just stay tuned to the whole video for everything is create live training that works like this we're going to do it with disruptive money i'm going to make myself available from 2 p.m to 4 p.m tuesday through friday mondays that's a heavy client day and from two to four i'll be in the webinar there'll be training there'll be breaks not many you know it's only two hours so there won't be a lot of breaks but there'll be a training there'll be break there'll be q a and i'll break it up like that so you can come in ask detailed questions go deep on certain subjects and each day will be with a different perspective or a different stage or a different phase so that's four days eight hours so and i'm putting it out like way in advance and <laughs> like how i used to do stuff now to the part that you should stay tuned to i'm also putting out june's schedule now so like second week of june then i'm gonna do how to build a business from scratch we'll talk about i mean llc putting that together the questions that people want to ask me on youtube that i mean literally would take me 30 40 50 minutes just to write up a response a proper response that's just kind of crazy but in the environment of webinars where everybody is trying to do the same thing everyone is cued in everyone is tuned up then it makes more sense then the live training will be recorded the whole two hours will be recorded and it'll be put in hustlers kung fu dojo.com so that's how it's going to work so disruptive money business edition is going down not this week but the week after and that was a bad thing that was that was a wrong decision and in june 
how to build a business from scratch is going down. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a crazy offer here, but I'm not gonna do it right now, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, part of why I put it on June is I am building a apparel company, you know, hustlerskungfu.com. That's where, if you've been looking for URL and you've been going, it's been a blank page. I wanted to use that for my store, but I didn't have a store, all kinds of crazy stuff, and hired the designer who didn't do it, the job that I wanted, which is why the designer didn't get all of the money. Yep, I did a deposit deal, glad I did, because I didn't like the design, hired someone else for one six of what this person, oh, more or less, more than that, it was crazy. Who's do, you know, was more agreeable, did what I wanted, and we got the first design for the first shirt done, the second shirt is being worked on right now. So you're gonna watch me, because I, I was gonna do it before, I was like, well, you know, let's just go ahead and do this inside the course. You'll see me set up my LLC, or S Corp, once again, this is why <laughs> it takes some time. Uh, I'll probably will do another S Corp, You'll, I'll just show you from the whole thing, from the articles and incorporation. You will get to see me do it and then explain why I did what I did, how I put stuff in, how to set up certain things. Now, this is the thing. Everyone that signs up for the offer is gonna get not one t-shirt, not two, but three. I've been pushing on this because the goal is to come up with a new shirt design every month. I'm not gonna do it like traditional apparel companies because I'm not a traditional apparel company guy. There's gonna be a blending of Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, of the Hustler Kung Fu brand with the clothing brand because we are first and foremost a training company. That's why the first shirt is Hustlers Kung Fu Training, established 1999 when I got the Hustlers Mindset, which liberated me from being homeless. So that's when all this stuff started. Uh, it's going to have a very heavy gearhead, iron head theme. It's going to be rough, rugged, and it's just it's going to be a reflection of the channel and my philosophy and the, you know how we get down here. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and you'll see me do these things because there's going to be more than just the t-shirts the t-shirts will start but there'll be a lot more and you'll get to see me set that up you'll get to see me drive traffic to the website you'll get to see all that the real business because there's a bunch of people and i'm going to put this out there who want to do exactly what i'm doing and there's nothing wrong with that but they don't have the fucking talent so instead of dedicating a decade really it's two decades if you want to include the time that I used in high school to study companies I've been reading Inc magazine since eighth grade weird kid I know but I have uh, one of the first stories Cabletron look it up because they were Cabletron Cablevision uh, they were one of the first companies like to really grow in the Inc 500 so you want to do what I'm doing that's cool but don't come on to my platform uh, my presentations because this is YouTube they own it but I'm leasing it and ask me all these questions trying to get you, get me to give you t tactics that you need to bring up your sorry ass little business because that's all it is like I said there's nothing wrong with if you want to be a trainer a consultant do info products there's nothing wrong with it at all it's a great business however for your info training business to have any durability you're gonna have to have years not weeks not months but years of experience in whatever the fuck you're talking about that's just practicality but a lot of people are trying to get away from that and that's the reason that there's all this push like uh, there's a lot of trainers who do regurgitate what they hear someone else say or regurgitate something from a book they could just talking but they haven't you know walked the walk so this is going to be different because if you notice i don't do facebook ads now i'm not going to say i'll never do facebook ads but i'm a youtube guy i've got seven going on eight you know in august be my eighth year starting at the beginning of my eighth year on youtube and why would i leave something that has helped me create three million plus and counting dollars to go do something else I really don't know about. That makes no damn sense whatsoever. So 
part of this is an exploration in how to build a business from scratch because I've never sold clothing before. I've sold, you know, my own brand. I've sold clothing, but not creating an apparel company, not creating the brand. I've never done that before. So you get to see that from the inside. You know, you'll all still put stuff here on YouTube, but I'm gonna go deep. Uh, I'll be talking, you know, when there's some other things I'm working on, you'll get to hear the phone calls, just things that you can't really get anywhere else because people don't have their own thing. You know, and uh, also, I've decided to do a no eBay, no Amazon playlist. As much as I want to leave it alone, I just said fuck it because it's just too much, too many things that I have talked about or predicted keep happening. And you know, it, it's funny because I was looking at a YouTube video and people were talking, and it was just like I got a, I got the first no eBay, no Amazon video up. Someone else tried to make one, it didn't get any traction. I've been talking about this from years and it's just funny it's like well you know we ain't gonna mention his name I'm like I got too many folks out there who are like hey you know did you see this I was like I saw it and it's just funny but stop being I'll stop being facetious but to to really get into building a brand building a company we're gonna talk about that like no one's ever talked about it before because now you gotta see me set these goals and see me go through these these changes because I will give you the story of what happened with the first designer and it's really my fault. It's my fault why that happened and I, I will go into detail that you know and teach you how to find the designer and how to do this stuff and how to set this up. But this will not be free. And I'm gonna tell you why it won't be free. I did some testing. Um, and this is what led me to do the training and set stuff up. I did a lot of testing. I had several price points, um, $99, $125, $250, $350. Then I did a big jump to $1,000. Then I did a jump to $1,500. Then another jump to $2,000. And I had people of various backgrounds and companies in these training programs. Now, everyone was getting the same level of service same level of service right well everyone except for a few dropped out of the thousand dollars yeah the thousand the fifteen hundred to two thousand uh they've been rocking for months but everyone that's you know with one some 125 something like that they just dropped out now they were getting the same training now, i was having this conversation with a client yesterday because we we're helping build his brand and I, he was just repeating stuff that he got from my free courses but see, the difference between him and, you know, the money he's making, some of it is because he took information from my free courses, YouTube videos, created a business that earns six figures, six figures, and he has the income to pay me to go to the next level. Now, there are a lot of people who are not taking my advice and doing shit with it. And they ain't doing nothing with it. It works. It works. There are people paying me thousands of dollars a month consistently because the shit works. But when you drop below a certain income level, and this is where I'm about to really hurt some people's feelings, they look at what I should be giving them based upon the value that they have in the world that predicates their income. If that makes sense, it's like, well, since I make 40000 a year, if I give him what I make in a week, that should be good. No, the fuck is not. It's not. And that's one of the reasons that I'm moving away from that crowd. And if you make under 100 G's a year, get the free courses. Go ahead. HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com. It's going to be free. I'm not going to change it. I'm not fucking with it. If you, if you like the content and you want to actually pay what you want to donate some to the cause, cool. But it's free. That's it. HustlersKungFuDojo.com is a paid product. Everything in there, if you're there, you pay some money. There is, there's no free stuff there. There will not be any free stuff there. And then with these training things, and going back to my experiment, same level of service, same stuff, it's just they didn't do nothing with it. I cannot do anything with you if you ain't doing shit with the information. It's just the real. That's just the reality, and I've came to it. Now, as a consequence, now this is a business lesson. 
the people who are paying a thousand dollars a month up to two thousand a month easily pay me more money than all of the folks who were doing the 120 easily because I get one of them that replaces like 20 people at the other levels one replaces 20 business lesson same level of work more bang for the buck plus it's more fun because you get creative people because uh, someone was making a comment about you know and when you see someone that has done better than you and you feel that little ooh, jealous little bitch coming up out of you bitch slap the bitch back in you and pay a fucking attention pay the fuck attention pay fucking attention because one of the reasons that I'm in this position where you're watching me and I'm not watching you is because I realize I am stupid I understand that I am stupid I understand there's a lot of things that I don't know I don't know what I don't know that's how stupid I am now there are many of you who think you're fucking smart and if you look at your life it does not reflect your so your purported intellect. So as long as you think you're stupid and govern yourself accordingly, which is, I got to network. I got to read books. I have to open up my mind. I have to listen to other people. I have to take information, implement, and get my own information, get my, get my own feedback. I have to work. I have to realize shit keeps changing. So with me saying that, that I realize that I am functionally stupid, I'm still smarter than 99.8% of you because I realize that I'm fucking stupid and I have to keep learning and hustling. I'm silent for a reason. If you think you're smart and you have no money, you're not fucking smart. If you think you're smart and you're living where you don't want to live, you're not smart. If you think you're smart and you have been struggling for years, you're not fucking smart. If you think you're smart and you can figure it out and you don't have your own economic eco you know, eco economy, your own economics, you don't have freedom, you don't you you work at a job you fucking hate. You 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 deal with people you can't stand because you need them. You are not fucking smart. You're not and then once you start to become smarter I and mean, once you start to reduce your level of stupidity because that's what I look at I'm functionally stupid and each day I try to reduce my level of stupidity by learning something new from people who are smarter than I am uh, this morning I was reading I spent an hour reading over some posts to someone who has this new marketing thing and it's shit's brilliant she's like 24 and I'm like, you know what? She knows some shit that you don't know. Pay attention. What can you take from this to help your business? But if I went to her post and was like, well, you know, she's only 24. Shit, you know, I'm older than her. I've been around the block. I know more than her. She just got lucky. I missed a lesson. And that's what a lot of you do to me. You're so busy trying to be smarter than me that you're, you get stupid results. Now, how does that make sense? If you're so smart, why do you consistently get stupid results? Stupid money, stupid life, stupid relationships, stupid networks, things that don't work out for you, but you're so fucking smart. Why does that keep happening? Why? If you're so smart. See, I'm challenging you. See, this is the thing that uh, people don't seem to understand. The social network works both ways. Like you can challenge me and you should, and you can challenge my perspectives and you should, and you wanna validate what I give you, you should. I do the same to you. And for some reason, that's a problem. Some people just get weirded the fuck out when I challenge you. Cause social networks work both ways. It's just not you coming to me. It's you coming to me, me coming to you, we're having a conversation. What you can do to me, I can do to you. And I'm telling you, these trolls can't stand that. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm supposed to just hit you and you're supposed to take it because you're bigger than me. 
Mm-mm. I'm part of the marketplace, just like you. I, I had an incident with someone who wanted to, because see, this is the thing, and I'm gonna tell you what I do. When I have a troll, I've learned to realize that there's a certain behavior, there's a certain language, there's a certain feel. There's just a certain way that a person who's trolling is operating, even if they come off as kind of like smart or intellectual, or the question sounds good in the beginning. There's gonna be an element of trolling in that question. Then when I go look at the troll's social media, uh, there was one, this one fool's pretending to be a doctor. There are no credentials online. Pull the fake image from the internet. But people don't investigate because a lot of folks who do social media are lazy. Complete troll, hating on everybody because, you know, he's got some issues. Another person, I was like, you know what? You think your information is better than mine. You think, oh, you know what? Let's do a hangout. You show your face, show your assets, show your business. Matter of fact, I get a channel that gets over 300,000 unique hits a month. That's exposure to your brand. Come on, let's do a hang up. Let me take a pair, let me tear apart your business. Every time I put that out there, every troll has run from that. Every, for the last four or five years. Every last one, oh no, I don't want to come do, do no, no, no. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna let you expose me, man. I'm gonna keep sitting here in the shadows and trolling. I'm not trying to be better. I'm not trying to build something. I just wanna fuck with you because I don't know how to do better. And that's trolls, and that's why I treat trolls the way that I do. And I say that because if you are successful online, and many of you will be, uh, there's some of you who are going to take this information you're going to run hard with it you're going to be successful and you're going to get these fools who for some reason are too lazy or they just have i don't even know how to call it um they're just not they don't believe in themselves that's it they have low self-esteem and it is easier for them to go out and attack people. And understand, this is good. This is not bad. The more people are attacking you, the more problems that you have, the more effective that you are. See, you don't get problems unless you're doing a lot of shit. You don't have haters and trolls unless you have exposure. No one's going to troll on you if they don't know who you are. See, when you, when you get a bunch of trolls, that means you're getting a bunch of attention that your, your reach is growing. So trolls are a byproduct of you doing the right thing, even though that they're they're like gnats, you know, like, you know, you're out on a picnic and you're trying to enjoy the day and they're just flying around. That's pretty much their effectiveness. That's an effect, you know, they're, they're a nuisance. That's really it. But they're, they're a good sign that you are on the right path. There's this group of men and the guy who owns the group, he has a problem with uh, Grant Cardone. You know, he says, you know, he likes Grant, but, but every chance he gets to like, you know, say something's wrong because Grant is the dude, whether you like Grant Cardone or not, Grant is the fucking man. And Grant is someone who's been doing this social media thing for about 10 years. And one thing I like about Grant there was a period where Grant was struggling online and he'll be honest about it. And he's like, look, you know, nobody was paying me attention. I wasn't getting the views. And Grant hustled that shit out. He got the people and Grant is at a point where he cannot become unrich. Now, the thing is, when you get to that level, you have a lot of freedom to speak your mind because you're not worried about offending somebody because your money is okay. And this guy just goes on and on and you know, and I've even kind of like talked to him about it. But see, the thing is, when you have the abundance mindset, you don't get jealous of people. You don't go out and start tripping because you don't see this thing as a zero sum game. You don't, you don't bitch out because you realize there's enough for Grant there's enough for this dude, there's enough for me, there's enough for you, there's, there's enough for everybody who is truly hustling. 
a ton of stuff for folks who are truly hustling. It's just abundant opportunity, abundant money, abundant whatever you want is out here. But if you're sitting at home waiting, hoping and wishing, yeah, it's pretty scarce. Because once again, if you don't have trolls, you don't have attention. The more trolls you have, the more attention you have. The more attention you have, the more influence you have. For every troll you have, you probably have 1,000 to 10,000 people who are listening and appreciating to you who aren't trolls. So you want a bunch of trolls. You want trolls climbing over each other out of the troll pit to get on your damn nerves because they are a signal that you're being effective. And that's what we're gonna talk about in the training as we go on throughout the year. So that's my update, my message, my rant. Be sure to click on the link below to go ahead and reserve your space for this training. We got a nifty deal there for you. Some nice t-shirts are coming. So this shit's gonna be cooler than cool. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next video.